Greetings Red Wolf Nation and welcome to a new episode of Inside IUE Sports. My name is Kyle Wright from the IUE East Athletic Department and we really appreciate you joining us this evening. One of the many interesting and wonderful opportunities for students here at IUE East is the cadet program through the IUE East Police Department. We're going to be joined by a couple of the students in the cadet program who are going through the program right now. First I'm joined by Sarah Mallory who's in her first year in the program. So Sarah, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for inviting me. Okay. Well this is your, uh, your first time on the show so before we get into the program we'll have you in introduce yourself to the audience a little bit. So if you could okay. tell us a bit about where you're from and uh, going back to three years ago, uh, just why you originally chose to come to IU East. Okay. So I'm originally from Winchester, Indiana, and uh, I think I chose uh, IU East in particular because it's close to home. I can go home like every weekend, so that's pretty great. Good to see my mom. Um, also chose it because it has a great uh, criminal justice program. Um, right from the beginning, my first, uh, let's say, like, I don't know, um, kind of walk through, through the campus. Um, I was first introduced through the to the criminal justice program, the cadet program, and obviously athletics, because that was what I was recruited for. So I was just really interested from the get-go. Okay. And uh, you are part of the, as you said, the track and field program. And I think it's impossible to be part of the track and field program and not know about the cadet program, because so many have, go have gone through it. But uh, uh, what for, uh, you obviously knew about it from day one, but what yeah. kind of sealed the deal to like, yes, this is something I want to try to do once I get to my junior year? Um, just from the current cadets now that we have for, through Mitch and um, obviously in the past Kristen, I've kind of just talked to them, see how it was, see how they can handle their schedules and with school, with sports, and you know, just having to work at least 20 hours a week. I thought I could manage it if they thought they managed it. So, okay. um, And how does the selection process work? I assume it's not so simple as you just walk in and you're hired. So uh, <laughs> what, what is the selection process like to be one of the cadets? Um, so first of all, you have to go through uh, our police uh, website, IUPD, and um, go down through the careers and just type in your information. And then about, say, January, February, they will call you in if they want to interview. And they go from there and just go through the interview process. Okay. This, as we mentioned, this is your first year in the program. So you're basically about four or five weeks into it. So uh, uh, talk a bit about what have your duties been like so far and what will be some of the future duties you have during this first year in the program? Yes, yeah, so uh, currently I uh, just do basic security, make sure all the buildings are secure, make sure nobody needs, you know, is in trouble. Um, I go through, make sure our, we do parking enforcement. Uh, not people, <laughs> not many people like that one. Um, but I have written tickets, that's pretty interesting. Like I get to see, you know, the steps it takes and how to run license plates and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of like a, a beginning phase. Um, later on, I'm not exactly quite sure what we're going to be doing. I'm assuming it's more security and getting into more heavier PT to prepare for uh, the academy this summer. Okay. I swear my parking tags are up to date, so <laughs> you do see mine in the parking lot. Uh, well, as we mentioned, a long line of track and field athletes have done this. I think the line goes back uh, four or five years. And uh, uh, you mentioned a little bit, does talk about the, any advice or encouragement that those past um, athletes, track and field athletes in the program have given you? Um, pretty basic. Just keep up on your grades. Maintain a, you know, a good standing in uh, society. Like, make sure, you know, you, you just be a nice person, pretty much. And... Um, just work hard. That's all you need to do. Is just work hard, be on time, show that you're capable of handling handling some pretty serious, you know, uh, activities in the future. Like just being a police officer, you know, it's always you're always going to be under the public eye. So make sure you're you're in the right. Okay. Um, I'm sure each of you, the track and field athletes that have done this, you came to you were motivated to do this for your own reasons. But is there a reason so many track and field athletes have done this? Is there something about people who would want to be interested in law enforcement become track and field athletes or vice versa? Just is there any kind of connection that you you see between the, the many of you? Um, not exactly. I just think that, um, I mean, <laughs> I, from personally, me, I just wanted to get into it. I've known I wanted to get into it way before I was even a track athlete. So um, it just kind of comes hand in hand. I mean, if you're a runner, sprinter, it just it's more of a favorable um characteristic that mm -hmm. you know it, you're looking forward to in a police officer so that's and from what I've heard of the Academy it's good to, to be in shape when, when you go there so. yes yes uh, even over the summer I wasn't in exact top shape but it helps just knowing that throughout the past years I was running and doing all the uh, cardio stuff before him 
Okay, so uh, looking forward, uh, after you complete uh, the cadet program, after graduation as well, uh, talk about your career hopes after you finish your training and complete your degree. Oh uh, yeah, so um, I plan on getting hired somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily locally, probably not. I might uh, try to adventure out and um, just see what my options are. I mean, it's it'd be nice to stay home just for my mom's sake, but for my sake, I, I'd like to adventure. <laughs> Right. Um, talk a little bit about track and field. It's, it's very early. Uh, you're our school record holder in the indoor 60 and 200 and also a school record holder in several relays. Uh, again, it's early, but kind of the, the outlook for the track and field team uh, this coming season. Uh, I think we're pretty strong this year. Um, if people keep sticking with it and keep working hard, I feel like we are definitely going to keep breaking records. Okay. And uh, one of the many reasons I respect uh, the track and field athletes, uh, you start practicing basically the first week of school, but yet there's no meets until December. So that's a long time with nothing but practice. And I think one of the common saying is your sport is other sports punishments. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. just talk about how you all keep, uh, keep motivated during this long time of nothing but training before there's uh, an actual meet. Uh, my motivation, I mean, I think it's stuck with some other athletes of my age. Um, you're our very first meet out, it's always been a, a good one for all of us. So um, just to keep us motivated, keep working hard. I mean, the harder we work, we're going to see results within the first meet or two. So that's just, that's just my motivation. Okay. And uh, one last fun question was uh, researching your biography before you came on the show. Saw uh, one of the things that you put, uh, tenure member of 4-H Horse and Pony. Uh, maybe any uh, favorite or fun memories you'd like to share from that experience? Uh, Man, I don't know. I've just always grown up with horses, so it's just, it's always been fun for me. Um, I wish I can still, you know, stick with it, but uh, just growing up and things have been coming up as priorities. But yeah, I, I definitely love my horses. Um, favorite memory, I think, for sure, would be going to State Fair and just experiencing that. And still coming out, we, my pony and I, uh, we always came out top 10 regardless of what the situation was. So how many in the class didn't matter. <laughs> right. All right. Well, uh, we appreciate we'll let you get, get back on duty here. We appreciate you stopping by. Best of luck with the cadet program and also in uh, track and field this coming year. All right. Thank you, Kyle. All right. And we'll be right back with another member of the IUE's cadet program right here on Inside IUE Sports.